Players who were not playing today were training. They certainly had a very, very hard workout in the heat and they kept going for more than an hour. So play still held up for an injury. Left for play, six minutes, and the New Zealanders leading by a slender four points, 19 to 15. And an untidy line out. Not the sort of ball Andrew Donald wants to get. Jock Hobbs is at number seven going in at the back there, waiting for it. Andrew Donald held up in the scrum. And uh, Adolf Malone trying to get in back around the back of that ruck. And here it comes, all black side. Picked up there by Jock Hobbs, the captain, over the 22. Second phase, but a New Zealand brought it back. Andrew Donald, how it goes. And uh, Billy Osborne, back into Jock Hobbs. Over the 22. Now they'll want second phase again. All Blacks landing deep. And Donald. How it goes. A drop goal attempt by Fox. Not a very good one. Reese Edwards with it. Plenty of time. He'll boot for the far side. He decides to dot it down. Decided he caught the ball over the far line. And left for play only five minutes. So the junior Springboks will have to pull something out of the bag. A quick one there. Mike Clamp back there. Mike Clamp. Picking up rather lazily, he's got China Bell, whose defense is very good. China Bell won't let him get past. Billy Osborne with it, helping it. And uh, Adolf Milan, but good work there. Back it goes to Grant Fox from Donald. Well tackled. Wayne Shelford. And uh, New Zealand is still going very well with it. Pika Reed, McDowell. But good work by the junior boss. Out of help from Miller. Help from Miller. And it goes there from Yanni Breath to Franz Vessels. Jakob Reinach chasing for it inside of Vessels. Franz Vessels back to Reinach and he can score here. He's the fastest man on the field and he's going to score under the post. Jakob Reinach. Jakob Reinach it is under the post. The South African 400 meters record holder. Jakob Reinach from the free state. And very good work into passing between him and Franz Vessels. And has given the junior Springboks the scores a level. Well, watch out through the hands of Helfart Miller, Yanni Breath. Franz Vessels does it well to control it. Little grubber. Now watch this brilliant play by Reinhardt. Pick up, pass. Brilliant. Back from Franz Vessels again. And now it's just Reinhardt against all the rest of the All Blacks. And zip inside. Magnificent pace. And what a happy mere people that free staters will be. There we see it again. Good ball. Good pass by Scott Nudia. Helfart Miller, well in the back line, Yanni Briat. Now the little grubber coming from Franz Vessels. Now watch this. The pickup, zip inside, brilliant. Franz Vessels, the dance inside. Robbie Deans can't hold on. He's very quick, he's very powerful. A beautiful triple inside Billy Osborne. And the Free Staters will be out of their chairs. And while we were seeing that, the conversion from Scott Nadia from Bang in Fran went over. And so it is the Junior Springboks leading by a goal, four penalties and a drop goal, to a goal, three penalties and a try by the New Zealanders. 21 points to 19 left for play. We have about three minutes of ordinary time, plus whatever the referee decides to add on for stoppages. And there have been quite a few. And that looks like uh, Steve McDowell with a few bellows to men. But remember that the All Blacks have scored two tries to the Junior Springboks. One, it has been a pulsating game. And uh, one would say that whichever side was to lose this match would be considered a trifle unlucky. Certainly has been super stuff with the All Blacks showing what power play they have. Tremendous second phase ball and uh, signs of very good things to come. Well, I think the mistake that the All Blacks are making, they're actually, I think, making the game too static. They're running. They have a habit of just stopping slightly before they're co totally committed in the tackle. And they're not actually running over the advantage line and breaching the juniors' defense. Gert Smal, I must say, has had a magnificent game. Yanni Briat, the other one, Yapi Vessels, the loose forwards, absolutely magnificent. And the juniors' scrum work has been very good indeed. So, two and a half minutes to go in this match of ordinary time as Robbie Deans kicks off. No long one this time. Adolf Malone is there to try and pick it for the juniors. And Vessel, uh, Lightfoot, back to Garth Wright, who shovels it out. He couldn't do much better as these All Blacks were swarming up onto the junior Springboks. Number eight, Yanni Breit doing good work there. And you'll see the All Blacks in a good position. That's the 22-meter line just to the right. Albert Anderson takes it. Number four in the lineup. Coming around, Wayne Shelford, captain Jock Hobbs. Waiting for it, trying to catch them offside. 
and uh, the All Blacks will let it come when it suits them. Jock Hobbs with it, holding it. Back there to Donald. Donald to Grant Fox and it goes. Tempted drop goal. Is it there? No. It's to the, yes, it is. A beautiful one. Grant Fox. Grant Fox it is. Grant Fox, the boy from Auckland. He's had one test. 23 years old. He plays so well. Well, here it is. Here the game. Grant Fox. He's tried four drops already. This one, Steve, you can just see how well he hit that one. Pressure from Yanni Briot. And he is delighted with the whole situation. 22 points to 21 and what more exciting rugby can you get one point the difference and there's probably about three or four minutes to go with the extra time that the referee can allow for stoppages and it looks as though we're having one of the All Blacks coming off the field it looks as though Steve McDowell will he be replaced at the last minute here if he is a uh, replace, it'll be Scott Triton. There he is, Scott Triton, number 16, a very solid guy who looked pretty fit in training. And a long one by Reese Edwards. Now one wonders why he did that. It's his idea is to put his side onto the attack. He booted it. Just arrived inside the dead ball line. Had it gone over on the full, they could have had a scrum on the center spot because the ball wouldn't have been in play. But it managed to, to uh, hit the ground just a fraction before the dead ball line and Grant Fox kicking it as far away as he can they've got the lead and here is Reese Edwards what will he do he must keep it live a long one by Scott Nordea over in the far side there to Franz Vessels he's well tackled his Franz Vessels and the uh, ball goes loose all backs coming in Jock Hobbs Albert Anderson Murray Pierce going in very fast that's Franz Vessels former Northern Transvaal player and a great tackle by Alan Wett and at this stage of the game loose forward really getting off to the center there Vessel light foot and it's over 40 minutes on the stopwatch so we're in extra time the referee allows for stoppages tap back at the back by Yanni Brett and Scott Nadia misses out of one Halford Muller and out it goes to China Bell China Bell back to Halford Muller and they're keeping it alive it gets to Scott Nadia Scott Nadia trying to pick up Yanni Brett he gets to Yaka Reiner Reiner had a long kick ahead Robbie Deans is under it in his 22 he'll kick it right out as far as he can and sure he does Touch over in the far side. That's Robbie Dean. And from Canterbury. So the junior spring bucks on the attack. Vessel light for the ferry. And Adolf Milan gets it. But the referee whistle for lifting in the line out. And the penalty to the All Blacks. And uh, no doubt that looks like Grant Fox coming to take it. I think yep. Chick there's the perfect example of what we were talking about earlier in terms of the support in the lineouts. Not allowed to touch the player before he's caught the ball. And Robbie Dean's making sure of his penalty to touch. 42 minutes on the stopwatch. And the score, 22 points to the All Blacks. 21 to the Junior Springboks. And what a fantastic game, what a pace. The tries in the game for the All Blacks. Mike Clamp has scored a try, Grant Fox has scored a try and for the junior springers won by Yaka Reiner perhaps the best try of the match and look at that ruck the All Blacks really going in there solid back it comes Donald to Grant Fox Grant Fox a high long one backward is Yaka Reiner it has not knock on it's gone backwards chased there by Victor Simpson and he has no option but to run it out of touch Victor Simpson a real live wire chap young player who uh, played so well on Saturday 25 years old, he comes from Canterbury, has two tests under his belt. And now it is the All Black team right on the attack. And there is the final whistle. And at the final whistle, it is the All Black side. The New Zealanders who won by one goal, three penalties, one drop and one tie for their 22 points to the junior box. One goal, four penalties, one drop. And uh, so that is the final score. The New Zealand chess won, led 13-9 at half time. And the final score, New Zealanders 22 and the junior spring box 21 well I think a wonderful game of football chick a wonderful game of football beautiful control by the All Blacks great defense by the junior spring box and uh, chick I think that we're just waiting for them to come into the tunnel and we'll see those tired faces and uh, Hughie Edwards in the front a wonderful game by them Well, Hugh, a great game there, and uh, I think the New Zealanders deserve to be winning by that one point.
and here they come. A magnificent game by the All Blacks in terms of control. China Bell, Helhart Miller, two guys, Yanni Briot just behind them, two guys, three of them who were tremendous in defense. And there are the tired All Blacks, this altitude, Jock Hobbs the captain.